This is meteorologist Mark Molnar, and always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Eastern and Hurricane Eastern. We have a lot to talk about today. I'm going to touch on something I don't normally do, the Eastern Pacific, because the Atlantic is kind of taking a holiday. It's kind of basically just relaxing and very sleepy at the moment. But we have some action in the Pacific, Eastern Pacific. We have Major Hurricane Felicia, which has been downgraded to still a pretty strong hurricane, also Tropical Storm Guillermo. We'll be looking at these two systems, and could one of these have an impact on Hawaii, especially Tropical Storm Guillermo? I'll go into that in all the details, uh, because this looks interesting. I'll go over the rest of the Atlantic as well and explain to you what I think going forward is going to happen. And in addition, we are looking at North America, heat continuing in interior western areas. Also, we are looking at... How long will this weather pattern in the northeast continue? This broken record pattern of flash flooding, severe weather. It's just rains, rains, and rains. I'll go over that as well. And stormier in the southeast. We could be looking at below average temperatures. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, smash the like button. And so you're alerted when I come out with one of these videos. Question or comment down below. I do have timestamps down below as well. And we're taking a look at the tropics here across the Atlantic, Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. You have that triple high pressure in control from the Azores all the way for the Bermuda and Florida here. Around that, we'll see uh, the, quite uh, the suppression of tropical systems further to the south and the intertropical convergence zone, st zone staying pretty far to the south here across uh, portions of the lower lesser Antilles and then heading into northern part of South America and then eventually across Latin America and into the eastern Pacific since why the eastern Pacific has been so active as of late um, so there you have it uh, across much of the Atlantic here into the Eastern Caribbean, we have a light area of Saharan dust. No major areas of interest. Any of these tropical waves, you know, could have the potential of developing. But at this time, I don't see any development during the next four to five days, at least through Thursday or Friday of this week. So don't discount the tropics here. We will be looking at a much bigger uptick here later on in August and September. And taking a look at the Eastern Pacific here, we have a Hurricane Felicia. was a major hurricane now. Uh, falling off a bit is still a pretty strong hurricane, but is weakening. Uh, we'll continue to weaken as we head towards Wednesday down to Category 1, and then eventually a Tropical Depression by Friday. You have Hawaii on the up, or the central left-hand corner of your screen, Baja of California in the upper right-hand corner there, and you have Tropical Storm Guermo here to the east of Felicia, and that will continue to head towards the west and eventually the southwest as well. You see their patterns kind of overlap here. One interesting thing to note is uh, the GFS model. Uh, later on, Guermo tends to head back towards the northwest, almost kind of like pivoting around Felicia uh, towards the latter half of the forecast period and could make a potential run for Hawaii. Now, by that point, it would be a very weak storm, um, so we're not too worried about it at this point, but it is interesting to note um, Guermo is expected to remain a tropical storm. I don't expect it to become a hurricane anytime soon. And Felicia will continue to weaken um, only major surf to the islands. Taking a look at the Gulf of Mexico here, it is, for the most part, clear as a bell out here into the central Gulf of Mexico. We do have the areas of showers and thunderstorms along the Yucatan Peninsula and off of the uh, Florida coastline here, mostly on land. Um, we always have to watch these uh, thunderstorm complexes for potential development, but as of right now, I don't see any development in the Gulf of Mexico this week. And look at the rest of the Atlantic here. Uh, pretty much benign, no much activity. We do have, look at the intertropical convergence zone over the lower right-hand corner of your screen off the coast of Africa. It is pretty active, pretty vigorous, uh, but at this time, I don't see any one of these waves developing. We'll have to watch them as they traverse. Uh, towards the end of the week, towards portions of the Caribbean. But at this time, I don't see any form of development uh, at this point. And taking a look at the GFS model, quick run for the entire week, you see pretty much keeping the intertropical convergence zone in check here off the coast of Africa. We don't have, it doesn't hit in any major areas of development anywhere in the Atlantic, Caribbean, or Gulf of Mexico at this point. So pretty quiet for this week at, at least. Taking a look at the CMC model run here for the Atlantic, uh, pretty much very similar to the GFS at this point. Um, no major areas of interest to watch here in the tropics. And here is that GFS model run. Hawaii is right in the central portion of your screen there. You see the first storm, Felicia, heads to the south, but look at this. Guermo kind of heads to the northwest. Now, take this with a grain of salt because this takes us into Monday or Tuesday into the following week here. 
Uh, but I do think it's interesting to note that potentially Guillermo could make a run for the Hawaiian Islands. Um, we'll watch that because the other models really aren't hinting too much at that at the moment. But uh, we'll see what happens here. The uh, Cyclonic, if uh, Felicia and Guillermo get a little bit too close together, uh, Felicia could push Guermo a little bit further to the north, and that could be what the GFS here is picking up on. Very interesting to watch this model run. We'll continue to watch it here at the Hawaiian Islands. Some viewers sent in photos and videos. John from the Beckham Interchange here in Little England, New York, near New York 20 and Beckham Street. Wind advisory was in effect on July 15th here, and look at that. Even though it was windy, look at that, a beautiful day across the region. So nice captures there, John. Taking a look at your weather pattern across North America, the upper air pattern, look at this. Yeah, uh, we continue with more of the same. We do have a little bit of a uh, big uh, trough developing across the Northeast. What's new here? I mean, this will cool down the temperatures a little bit, but the humidity will still be there. And continue with rain, rain, and rain. It's just... Uh, one heck of a summer here across the northeast and mid-Atlantic. And look at that across the southeast. Despite a Bermuda high, we get some unsettled conditions, which will lead to below average temperatures. But out west, that big ridge continues, and sweltering heat will continue, mainly interior sections, staying away from the big cities of the west coast. Precipitation map across North America. Look at that. That washed out frontal boundary this coming week really washes out in the southeast, brings anywhere from that proverbial one inch all the way up to isolated two and a half three inch amounts especially northern louisiana parts of central uh, mississippi alabama northern georgia there so there you have it across the northeast we're finally trying to tone down some of the rainfall we still stuck with it on a lot of the days but these are it's not the tremendous rainfall totals you've seen so far this july so that's good news and once again the west coast staying pretty dry out there and for your Monday across the Northeast, look at this. Yes, it's the broken record over and over again. We do get a system uh, winding up across the Northeast that looks reminiscent of a inland nor'easter. Only this is summertime. We will have scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day, especially in the darker green shading from the I-81 corridor on eastward into New England. And temperatures will be held down into eastern New England as well as much of the northeast. It will feel very humid, though. Temperatures getting up into the lower 80s westward and only near 70 near Boston. Monday across the southeast, we have a stalled out frontal boundary with an area of low pressure riding along it in the Alabama area. We will see widespread rainfall amounts of up to one to as much as two inches in some spots locally higher amounts and we will be looking at temperatures being held down in the atlanta and birmingham area even raleigh 78 81 80 respectively here and look at that even along the gulf coast getting in on the act of some showers and thunderstorms even some stronger thunderstorms from northeast texas all the way to northern georgia and western south carolina here Tuesday across the northeast. Here we go. Look at stalled off front of boundary along the coastal sections. Look at that warming trend developing once again. We see temperatures warming into the upper 80s near 90. Places like Scranton and New York City being into near 88. Even 85 in Erie. East 6 in Concord. 94 in D.C. Uh, to the northwest here we have another stalled off front of boundary across southern Ontario and Quebec. That will be the focal point of showers and thunderstorms. Some could contain damaging wind, large hail. Flooding rains, portions of Erie, Buffalo, Toronto, and Syracuse into that yellow zone there. So there you have it. Um, the rest of the areas, anywhere from like 2 to 10 p.m., uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms, 40%, anywhere from around a quarter an inch on average. And your Tuesday across the southeast frontal boundary, look at that. Broken record, just like the northeast. Doesn't seem to move much, does it? Across northern Georgia, look at that. Atlanta. 80 again, Birmingham 82. Temperatures really being held down. Nashville starts to break out into some nice sunny skies, 80 near 88. 94 in Tampa looking very warm. Some sh uh, showers and thunderstorms northeast, especially the Panhandle of Florida, all through southern Georgia, Alabama, and portions of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas as well as this front starts to wash out. And your Wednesday across the northeast, look at that tail of two fronts again, stalled up front of boundary along the coastline, and a cold front pushing in finally from the northwest. Look at that, Toronto 73, 77 in Erie, finally cooling it down a bit, even in upstate New York, 76 in Syracuse, 76 in Concord. But look at that, uh, up towards New Hampshire and Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, um, and down east Maine here. Look at that. We're looking at quite a bit in the way of thunderstorm activity there. Some could contain damaging wind gusts, large hail potentially here as a vigorous upper level low moves through the upper layers of the atmosphere. 
Uh, could have some flash flooding as far west as the ID one quarter in upstate New York north and eastern Pennsylvania as well. Temperatures, as I said, will be on the tumble here. Uh, widespread rainfall amounts a quarter to half an inch locally higher amounts in those flash flooding areas and your Wednesday across the southeast finally the front not moving much we have another area low pressure over by northeast of Houston here um, we're only looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms particularly during the afternoon and early evening hours anywhere from a 20 to 30 percent chance look at that 92 in Tampa 91 in Miami 89 in New Orleans Panama City 87 Starting to warm it up near Birmingham, 86. One thing to note here, you don't see any tropical entities here in the Gulf of Mexico or off the southeast coast. Enjoy it while it lasts because this won't last going into August and especially September. And your Thursday across the northeast, finally. Look at that. A beautiful sunny day. It's about darn time, isn't it? But it seems reminiscent of last uh, Thursday where it was the only day of the week that was sunny and nice. So what are we starting here? A trend of Thursdays? If we could somehow get that move to Saturdays, that would be really nice, either a Saturday or Sunday instead. But uh, we'll take it while it lasts here, you know, because we it doesn't usually last here in the Northeast. So a nice cold front pushing off the coast. Lower humidity as well. Temperatures into the upper 70s and lower 80s. And Thursday across the Southeast, that frontal boundary really washing out here, almost non-existent. We do have that chance of a 20% chance of afternoon showers, particularly between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Along the Gulf Coast, southern states here from Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, southern South Carolina, and North Carolina as well. Temperatures really on the rise, though 87 finally in Atlanta, 89 in Birmingham, 94 in Tampa, 90s all along the Gulf Coast. So looking nice. Get out there and enjoy. Taking a look at the extended outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Yes, this does look like more of the same, pretty much the same pattern we've been in. Um, of course, just like last week, Thursday is the only nice day, which is kind of interesting to note there. Uh, but we have the chance of showers and thunderstorms every day, just about from right around 2 p.m. all the way up through 10 p.m. You know, you get those proverbial late afternoon, evening showers and thunderstorms that develop. Some could contain some flash flooding, maybe some small hail, gusty winds, especially on Monday and Wednesday, Tuesday. Just a slightly lesser threat, but still there, maybe up to a quarter inch in some of those heavier downpours locally. Higher amounts possible, as is always the case. We cleared out Thursday and then bring another system in Friday that looks to be weaker. Hopefully, I'm hoping we can dry it out for the weekend. Let's hope. As always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Eastern and Hurricane Eastern. Uh, don't forget to give my social media Facebook pages uh, some likes. Uh, some follows, Facebook, MediaMark, Weather Northeastern, also Hurricane Northeastern, also MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com will take you to the same website, Twitter, WX Northeastern. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button so you're alerted when I come out with one of these videos. Hit the like button, smash that like button, hit question or comment in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, view my Hurricane Outlook for 2021. It's in the link in the description down below. As always, thank you for joining me.